The Supreme Court's decision certainly has people here in Wisconsin talking. Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays joins us now. And Gabrielle, what are people saying about this decision? Well, Michelle, from women's groups to congressional leaders, some are applauding the Supreme Court's decision, while others say it interferes with a woman's access to affordable birth control. Tonight, we have multiple views. The Supreme Court's contraception ruling has organizations like the Wisconsin Alliance for Women's Health upset. We're in 2014, and birth control is being politicized, marginalized, and demonized the way it is. It's just unacceptable. Finger says the decision means women will face additional barriers. Whether they're financial or coverage barriers that put something in the way of women accessing this preventative health care um, is just unacceptable. Um, this is basic health care for women. Congressman Reed Ribble disagrees. There's really no barrier that's been created at all. Uh, the, uh, the opportunity and the choice is theirs if they would like to be responsible for the cost of it. Wisconsin state senators are also split on the decision. Senator Tammy Baldwin released a statement saying, I don't believe that bosses should dictate the personal health decisions of women. Women are more than capable of making their own decisions without consulting politicians or their employer. Today's ruling puts some bosses between women and basic health care benefits. Senator Ron Johnson says he agrees with the decision. In a statement, he says, I am grateful the Supreme Court recognized that individuals do not surrender their religious freedoms when operating a business. This decision also places important restraints on the fourth branch of government, the unelected bureaucrats and the executive agencies. Before the Supreme Court decision, churches were exempt from covering employees' birth control costs.